Here we have a new 2023 Nissan Kicks. Now this Kicks comes in the SR trim level in the beautiful boulder gray pearl. And then we have charcoal cloth interior. And then the powertrain consists of a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine made it to a CVT. And I just love the look of this boulder gray pearl. Really, really stunning color. Now as we get to the front end here, we do get LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights as well. And I really love how they did the grill here. We kind of this bronze mirror finish here looks fantastic. Gloss black here. And we just have the plastic down at the bottom. And even this little lip here with that bronze mirror finish makes this look really, really top of the line. Now coming around to the wheels here, these are going to be 17 inch aluminum. And I love the gloss black look on those too. Makes this look so, so clean black mirror caps here we get passive keyless entry on the front doors and even the door trim here this is not an expensive vehicle by any means relatively but just having all this cool like cool orange and black kind of carpet look there and even though the whole door panel is plastic it doesn't look trashy and then we have cup holder here little pocket there and this one does have an exterior and interior light package. We could turn that on by hitting this button here. And we can change the colors here. And there we have our driver's seat. We do get a roof rack here. So I'm actually impressed I can get back here at all because I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3", and I can actually sit back here. Now, my legs are kind of protruding a little bit, but if I wanted to, I could stick them in the back of the seat here. And not too uncomfortable, but I'm sure the person in front of me is going to feel that. So I wouldn't recommend it, but it's doable. Then we have two USB charge ports here. And there's a view of the front from back here. And if you want to turn your lights on, you can set it to the door, off or on. I would have liked to see a premium dome light in there. And then you can hang your clothes on here, but we don't have a specific hanger. And you do get the grab bars on all four doors. Let's go on to the back. I'm gonna pop the gas cap. So there's that there. And please excuse the bird feces. They really like this color. But there's a view of the back. I like the subtle chrome exhaust tip. I'd probably swap that out, but it looks good for stock. And plenty of cargo space here. And if you want even more, all you have to do is pull up here, and then that'll fold flat. And then to fold it back up, all you have to do is just pull up. And here's our front passenger seat <sighs> and while we're over here let's take a look at this window sticker so those are all of your standard features there and this one does have quite a few options and I would actually recommend all of these because it's only a little bit of money 
relatively, but you get so much as opposed to your standard SR. And then another fun fact about the kicks is much of this car is made in Mexico. It's even assembled there. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. And there's that 1.6 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder. But now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So I love the leather wrap steering wheel here. It feels really, really nice. And it's a subtle touch, but it makes it look really, really nice in here. Now over here to the radio, we do get AM, FM, XM along with Bluetooth. And then we have wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto compatibility as well. And here's our home page. We can customize that menu. Settings there. Not too much going on here, which is a good thing for a vehicle like this. It's mostly probably gonna be for commuting or driving to college or whatever. So you don't need a bunch of extra stuff that you might need on a, a truck or an SUV. But a big plus here is gonna be the backup camera with the guidelines that show you where you're headed as you turn the steering wheel and then having that bird's eye view as well. And then we can turn our night mode on. And then we have a quick shortcut for the settings audio and then we can toggle our radio stations here and then we have a tune scroll as well and then we can push this to turn the audio off and then use that for volume and a big plus here is going to be the single zone automatic climate control so we can push the auto on or turn it off ac here temperature here and then we can decide where the air is coming from here and then down here we have a USB-C USB-A input 12 volt there and then the electronic parking brake you pull up to engage hit the brake press down and disengage automatic brake hold here and then our shifter hit this knob reverse neutral drive and then we have our low gear there cup holders here a small small center console cubby space here but you could put your change in there and I don't know what you put in there but you could put something it's not a lot and there's a view of the back seat glove compartment here with owner's manuals now this is actually a pretty decent size here for this kind of car that's pretty impressive Now to the left side of the steering wheel, we have our track list, our radio station preset controls, back, volume. Then we can use these four arrows here to go through the left side of the gauge cluster, which two thirds of it's gonna be digital except for the speedometer there. So quite a few settings you can go through. And then to the right side here, we can toggle our cruise control, voice recognition, and then Bluetooth here. And then we have our cruise controls and then the gap adjust for the cruise there. And then this is interesting. You can toggle your brightness here and you can tap this to go through your trips as opposed to having buttons. So I actually like that they did that. Now over here, headlamp controls, fog light controls, turn signals, high beams. And then to the right side, we have our rear wiper, push back for that fluid, push up for the front fluid. And then we can adjust the 
intermittent wipers here and then we can go off one time low or intermittent low high and there's our push button start and finally here is our key fob with remote start But next, we're going to go ahead and take this 2023 Kicks SR out on the road for a quick test drive. Now, the Kicks is. The acceleration in this is adequate and you're not getting it because you want to race people but it is a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder so i wouldn't recommend pulling out in front of anybody in this but it has power just very very little but with this being a lighter car as well you really don't need as much as you would in let's say a pickup truck And the ride quality is not necessarily smooth, but it's okay. And for this kind of car, it fits it as it should. I mean, if you get in a Nissan Kicks, it's not gonna ride like a Chevy Impala or something like that. But nothing out of the ordinary in this car so far. And I do like that we don't have a sport or an eco mode here because there's really no need for it. When you have a car like this, you just drive it normally. An eco or a sport mode is not really gonna make a big difference. And honestly, if this had a more eco mode than what it's in now, it might be dangerous. <laughs> But definitely a big plus is having the intelligent cruise control on this. As well as the blind spot monitors. And like I said, I wouldn't call it powerful, but it's also pretty good for the target demographic. If you're more worried about having 30 miles per gallon, then you're probably not going to expect it to do great zero to 60 times. But all in all, it's just a decent car for the money. Now, of course, you may or may not have issues with the CVT down the road, but I always recommend getting rid of a car as soon as it's out of warranty anyway or get an extended warranty. And the good thing about having a CVT as opposed to a regular transmission with a car like this is you don't have to worry about shift lag or anything like that. And you really need all that you can when you're trying to accelerate in this car. But like I said, for the money, this is around the same as, I should say similarly equipped. I'm trying to think with under a Civic. Is there anything under a Civic? The Kicks really does have its own market because everyone else is trying to get rid of cars. And SUVs are kind of in between this and let's say a Rogue at this point. Everyone's trying to get there. But the Kicks is still really small, which allows you to maximize on fuel economy 
and then also maximize on having a lower monthly payment. Give it one pull here. Like I said, I don't get a thrill out of driving this, but it gets the job done. And with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of the new 2023 Nissan Kicks SR.